Both here is going to wear a cute little girly top for now. All right, here we go. I was looking for this error message right here. So I wanted to talk about what do you do in that particular case. Okay, so here we are in Marvel's Designer. Let's import. Let's start with the avatar itself. So let's go to import obj. This is our body.obj. Open is fine. Object type avatar, of course. That's the default option. That's great. Automatically add arrangement points. Let's have that too. That's also really, really nice. Scale here centimeters. Make sure that your Marvel's Designer is set to centimeters. I mean, I suppose if you have experience in there, you, you could work in millimeters or in something else, but I just find the centimeters just a bit more intuitive for people who do character art on a regular basis. Import, and here we go. So now we have our avatar. Okay, and then let's go to import OBJ, and let's load our pants here. And then in this case here, so load type, we'll say, uh, in this case, open would probably still be fine because we don't have any garments in the scene yet, uh, but we could set it to load type add just to make sure that, that uh, we are developing good habits here, I suppose. So let's go to load type add, object type. This is not an avatar, of course, so we want to switch that. This is a garment, so let's select that instead. Under object type garment, where it says here, trace 2D patterns from UV map. This definitely needs to be turned on. And what it's going to do, it's going to import your garment and Marvel's Designer will do this here. We'll recreate the 3D garment based upon the import OPJ and will give you the exact panels. And yeah, so I mean, as you guys can see, there are issues that we need to fix, we need to address, we need to troubleshoot these things. Fortunately, Balthier's cows are so generous, so generous. They just have to bulge out and just just get out of that seam there. They're just um, sometimes some panels simply do not import. Uh, it just so happens that this import is uh, there's no missing pieces in this one, unfortunately, uh, which is usually a sign that you've done a good job with your retopology and your UVs. Uh, but there's always like one panel somewhere that just doesn't want to import, no matter what. What happens so we ha kind of have to go in there and sort of figure out what's going on there so my demonstration is fortunately going a little too well uh, i kind of wanted it to break a little bit to show you guys what to do in that context uh and i'll i'll be trying that I'll, I'll i'll be trying to break it up just to like get something not to import properly in fact let me go ahead and and do that let me just uh erase my garment go back to maya let's see if i can kind of trigger a panel not to import properly Usually when something does not import, it's because the, uh, there's something about the border that just isn't all that, all that great. Uh, so uh, let me just go in here, maybe see if I can just uh, break it up. Let me use a multi-cut here. Let me just add maybe one vertex like that, and then maybe take this vertex that just got added. And let me try to, I don't know, move it like this. Maybe even move it inward a little bit. Uh, I'm just trying to create suboptimal geometry. Import OBJ. Select our pants. Low type oh, add. Object type garment. Turn on trace to the patterns from UV map. Scale centimeters. That's great. Import. And will it blend? Is it going to blend? It did blend. It blended. I did not want it to blend, but it did blend. So I guess my uh, I didn't screw up the mesh enough. I uh, I suppose um, I'll actually switch over to a different garment to show you guys what happens because uh, it's like usually things don't work and you spend a lot of time trying to get them to work. In this case, it's the opposite. My things work too well. I'm trying to break them and I'm not succeeding, unfortunately. Those are live streaming problems. Both here is gonna wear a cute little girly top for now. All right, here we go. There we go, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for this error message right here. So this little message says, uh, could not recognize UV borderline correctly. Please check the UV with other software. And then it gives you a material name, which is kind of, it's kind of good luck trying to do something with that. Um, and we can still click OK. What's going to happen is that most of the garment is still going to import fine. Most of it is going to import fine, as you guys can see. Let me just uh, switch the color over. 
most of it is going to import fine. In fact, let me just delete the avatar so that we can see this better. Uh, but you will get some. So as you guys can see, all of these panels on the back, they all imported perfectly. They're all perfectly shaped. No problems here whatsoever. But clearly near the front, somehow, these front panels, Mars Designer just was like, nope cannot do those for some reason when Mars Design decides not to import these. What you have to do is that you have to just go back inside of uh, Maya and you have to take the panels that did not import, you know, so just find the ones that did not import. And let's figure out what it is about these panels that made it so that Mars Designer simply could not import them. And usually the answer is there is a problem with your borders. Again, I keep saying this because it is important to keep that in mind. Whatever happens within your UV shells, as far as topology is concerned, probably doesn't really matter too much. What matters is the UV borders. So if you're having issues of something not importing inside of Mars Designer, it means that your borders are very likely not to be clean enough. There is something about the borders that needs to be cleaned up. So here, I mean, first of all, if I just zoom in here, I can see here there is an edge here. Let me just turn off this little button here. First of all, I forgot to clean up one of these edges here. See if there's anything else about it that we have indeed missed. So let's go around. First, let's just start with a visual in inspection of the piece. You know, let's just inspect the border, see what's going on. Let me see if there's any, uh, any floating vertices maybe somewhere. In fact, let me just go ahead and uh, do something here. Let me go into vertex mode. Let me take all the vertices that I have. I'm just doing a box selection over all the vertices. So here, uh, it's super tiny, so I know you guys won't be able to read it. But here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look into the number of vertices that I have here. So I have 570 vertices selected here. And by the way, if you want to have this visible, this is in your HUD, by the way. So you have to go to uh, display, you have to go to, to heads up display, and just turn on this little poly count thing here. So display, heads up display, poly count. Turn this on and you can see your poly count. So here I can see vertices. So it says there's 570. Let me try something then. Let me try doing a right click. Do, let me try doing a uh, shift right click rather. Let me go to merge vertices and just turn on this, uh, go in this little box right here, uh, which will allow me to see what is the merging threshold, which the default value is probably fine in this case. So let's just click apply. And now I know that you guys cannot see it, because uh, it's too small, but this number of vertices actually dropped from 570 down to 568. I've actually merged two vertices that I simply could not find, you know, just, just by looking at it, it wasn't clear to me that there were overlapping vertices, but I've essentially merged two vertices that were floating right now, somewhere, somehow. Uh, and let's try importing this again. Add object type, garment. And here we go. There we go, it finally imported. So the problem was that we had overlapping vertices. Let's go back to the bulb here. Now all my panels have imported. And then as a bonus, if I press B here, you guys can see that not only did it import all my panels, it also seamed all my panels properly. Uh, the problem is still that, as you guys can see, although Marvel's designer created seams for us, uh, those seams, unfortunately, for some reason, they never really completely extend to the borders of our panels for some reason. Now, of course, I could easily go in here and let's say select this little panel here, find the seams here. I could obviously be in B mode, you know, I press B to be able to select my seams. I could obviously go in here and take this one here and just, just uh, extend it down to its border. And I think in a lot of cases that would actually be completely fine. There is some cleanup that we need to do before we can uh, have our first simulation, so to speak. And what I like to do is just to, let's say, just just first, just, just take a random panel in there. Let's say this one here, whatever. There's no reason why that one specifically. It's just this one I want to start with. And I'm going to visually inspect it again. So I'm going to go around the whole piece and I'm going to look at it, make sure it's formed properly here. And certainly while I zoom in on this, and I can clearly see that there are some vertices that I really, really wouldn't necessarily expect there to be, you know? Uh, so what I need to do is just clean these out. And uh, once you're done with your sewings and you've cleaned up essentially all your borders, you'll pretty much be ready to do your first simulation, what I like to call first simulation, which if you're like me, you, you always get a lot of anxiety around that time. You're like, ooh, is it going to simulate properly? Um, it's like I always get a bit of anxiety when it comes to pressing simulate for the first time because 
spend so much time cleaning up the pattern, making sure that everything is kind of fine left and right, you know? Uh, and uh, so like, it's always a great relief when uh, you can get through first simulation properly there. Uh, so let me do that here and just load, uh, let me see here. So I'm gonna go un unscripted here, but I'm just going to see if I have a version of these pants that were uh, at just right before first simulation. And so you get a lot of anxiety, you know, you get a lot of stress be, uh, because of it. You press spacebar, and then this happens. And you're like, whew, you breathe a sigh of relief because it doesn't explode in your face. It all stays in the same position for the most part. And that's when you know that you've done a proper job.